Hey guys, Omni here. Welcome back for episode two of Netflix's Yu Yu Hakusho. Now, the first episode, as somebody who's actually seen the anime came into this, I was pretty impressed. They're definitely setting up a completely different story, but having a lot of similar elements and story beats in here. And so far, the characters that we have been introduced to have very much so the spirit of the originals intact. Again, the production value has been stellar has been really good and the fight choreography when something would happen has been pretty damn fun so i'm excited to see what happens next because the last episode ended with hiei kurama and goki showing up as they claimed these artifacts that koema is trying to keep out of their mitts and we'll see what happens, man. If you want to see the following reaction, check it out over on Patreon or if you got Marvel's channel, it gets you access as well. It is a watch along format, so you will need your own footage to sync up with the time codes and reaction the entire episode. Over there, you get the same thing for all the other shows and movies that we cover on the channel. You also get to suggest and vote on what movies you react to each month. We got monthly Q&As, behind scenes footage, and try to make it worth your while. So you're going to be a support channel. But at the end of the day, if you enjoyed this reaction, at least leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you're not already, because it really does go a long way with helping these videos out. And with that all said out of the way, let's go ahead and hop into Episode two. Here we go. <laughs> I do really like that effect. I wonder what that feels like, like in your hand. Wow. Wow. You dirtbag. I forget what the name of the orb is called, but I know it steals souls. And he just had to be a big old bag of dicks and do it at a fucking playground full of children. You got it. Keep going. Keep going. Keep <laughs> going. <laughs> もんこ言われたくないんだったら郵便に入れ力を集めて払ってみろ。ああ。ディスポイントメント。心で念じ。心で引き金を引く。お前は指で撃とうとするからできんのだ。お前何しろ儲かれ。コイマ様。俺。<
<laughs> that was kind of funny. Don't fall for this, buddy. Don't fall for this. Oh! Jeez! Oh! Hey, for being in broad daylight, he doesn't look too bad. <laughs> God damn, man. He was kind of graceful there. Until he... Until he wasn't. Jeez! I gotta say, man, the action is... So damn kinetic. <laughs> nice. Oh, nice! Dude, they're so creative with this shit, too. Whoa! <laughs> he did the Wario there, man. Whoa, nice! Nice arm bar, man. Not that it matters. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> wow, man. I mean, looks good. That was smooth. God, this is a really long sequence, too. Come on, man. You gotta save these kids. Oh, good hit. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. All right, Yusuke, you got you gotta dig deep, buddy. Karama's just watching. God damn it. Shut up. Oh. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Pop that head. Nice. His head's still attached, but you actually got it to shoot. Oh, well, there you go. No. Worried about him first. Cute. Dude. <laughs> that was cool, man. Goki looked good. Oh, right. That's who this guy is. So yeah, we were 100% skipping the Saint Beasts. In Rando too. Totally cool with that. I'm totally fine with that. Oh, traded her in exchange for the sinkhole. Right, 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 right. I think that's what his whole thing was. I think it was like demon trafficking or some shit. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yup. This is different. Is that how he gets the 
Jigan eye in this was with this little dagger. Oh, so he actually noticed Kurama. He acted like he wasn't there. The mirror of darkness. Oh, right, 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 right. Okay, I remember. Okay. So it was a mirror. It just looked like a sheet of paper. God, he can't get a light at all, dude. And he just keeps tossing these cigarettes aside. That's such a waste of money. Yeah. Because he, he knows he's being followed. He's leading you exactly where he wants. Oh. Hmm. ダメだよ、横になってなきゃ。大丈夫。友達がせっかく来てくれたんだから挨拶しなきゃ。ごめんなさいね、こんな格好で。でもよかった。安心した。毎日見舞いに来てくれるのは嬉しいんだけど。その
Whoa! The in the mirror. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it was a little abrupt there, sending them back like that, man. Gave half his life to save half Karamas. Rather than him losing all of it. No. Even devils may cry. Speaking of, I can't wait for that anime to come out. The new one. No. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, goddamn from the back, he looks just like Kuabar his silhouette. <laughs> like in that lighting too, it almost made his hair look red. All right, your turn. Yeah, that's how he got the eye in this. It looks like it's a uh, part prosthetic. Nice. <laughs> yes. <laughs> God damn. Oh, it's the gemstone that she cried. Yeah. The tear. What did he just call her? Oh, fun. Yes. <laughs> oh, dude. I don't care. I'm having a fucking good time, man. You know, I don't know. It might be annoying for some people to be like, oh, that thing and stuff like that with me just like remembering shit along the way, but I can't help it. Holy crap, man. Yeah, we banged out the uh, artifact retrieval, obviously with some tweaks. They didn't explain the blade at all yet. We'll probably get that in the next episode because this one very much so seemed to be mostly focused on Kurama and his backstory and stuff like that, his relationship, what he was actually after, you know, the whole reason they even formulated that team to begin with to get these objects. They all kind of had their own personal means for it. Some more personal than others, some more altruistic than others. And then you have good old fucking Goki, who's just a fucking literal child predator. Not in the traditional sense, but like he, he goes and eats their souls. His target of choice. Again, I don't remember if that was a specific thing that was called out with him before. I don't really remember much about him other than his, his appearance that he was part of that first gang. Look-wise, they, they nailed it. They did a damn good job with that. And for a such a lengthy fight all in the daylight, I think they, it looked pretty good. Obviously, it's not the most realistic thing in the world, but like for what it is, it's pretty damn impressive, especially with how active that fight was, how engaged it was, how much blending of, you know, Yusuke with the CGI element. It makes me wonder how they shot it. Obviously, there was a lot of moments in the fight where it was a digi-double for Yusuke, but there's a lot of times where it's not. A lot of times where he's doing normal choreography against this thing. I'm just like, I'm just, I'm just curious. It was pretty fun, but we saved the day. He popped off his first spirit gun the entire time. Kuwabara's finally picking up on some of the mysterious stuff going on around Yusuke. He's able to see Botan, which kind of is what clued him in once he found out his friends can't see her, you know, that he gave credence to Yusuke's story. Yeah, dude, I love the, uh, I love Kurama's entire thing, you know, like the whole, 
just idea of this entity that has grown up in the demon world, you know, wreaking havoc, doing all this stuff, blah, 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 who out of necessity and a, a need to survive bonded itself to a human child and thus had to experience life at our rate being grown up and raised by this human mother and he grew compassionate and developed love for that mother you know on the flip side of that hold up yeah i'm going to go back what did he call her on the phone i'm going to return karime karime oh uh, wait so maybe he doesn't know her name I forgot about that, I guess. Well, I don't even know if... I, well, I watched the English dub, so I don't think they were even called that. Like, the Japanese word for it. I'm going to return Karime. Like, he may, he says that like it's her name, but it is what she is. Because I was like, that ain't right. Her name's Yukita. Like, she's literally in the cast list as such. So, like, I was really thrown off for that. I was like, there's no way they changed that. But we got Hiei, who sought out that dagger to give him the this eye. There's a whole other origin behind how he actually gets that eye and that ability in the anime and in the manga like this is this is different this is like a, i think this is a like i think it's just an easier way to explain it i think that you know they wanted to consolidate everything and make it about these artifacts i think that's an interesting and efficient change to kind of keep things going without leaving too many questions just up in the air or taking us down another path that might feel a little divergent at the moment. But I like Sakyo as the businessman when this guy's like, you know, you sent me this product. It's a, it's so much more trouble than you intended. I'm gonna, I just want to give it back. And then he's like, no, where we don't accept returns right now. How about this? How about this? Pulls the manager card. How about we do a little of this for you? Come over here. I'll make your cry. I'll get you all them tears of ice, as well as protection. We got Tagoro, younger and older, uh, looking great. Though I will say that, like, and it's just like maybe the it's the uncanny valley nature of it all. Just seeing older Tagoro on his shoulder, slinking around in like a like an obvious like digitally altered size, because he was made to look smaller. There was just something a little little off about his mo movements but it's still overall again looked pretty good yeah i uh i really like this episode especially you know the whole thing with kuwabara following tracking yusuke every interaction with him and karama and then just kind of the moral lesson of this episode is that no matter who you are where you come from whatever doesn't mean you're all bad or all good. You know, there's not these lines. They can be blurred. Like in this instance, just because Karama's a demon doesn't mean that every action he's going to be taking is to wreak havoc or anything like that. Sometimes it can just simply be an act of saving a life. And that is saving the life of his human mother. It's it's a nice little sentiment. Again, it goes back to like, if you've if you watched One Piece or the One Piece live action, you know, it's like that first episode with Luffy and Kobe as they learned that, you know, hey, you know, Kobe had this idea that all the Marines are this altruistic, amazing group that are there to make the world better. And guess what? The first ones they meet or that we are in, meet along with them are pieces of shit. And that's just the reality of the situation, man. You know, people are more complicated than just these groups that we put everybody into. All in all, I thought this was another really good episode, man. Again, the production value, the effects, the action, the acting, everything is still, I think, really holding up. And even the changes that have been made to kind of make the story more efficient and flow more smoothly given the episode count. I think it's all pretty done pretty tastefully. But guys, I'd love to know what you guys thought. How did you guys feel about this episode? Sound off the comments down below. We'll carry on the conversation after the video. Hope you enjoyed the reaction. If it did, leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you're not already. Remember, if you want to see the following three actions, check it out over on Patreon or if you got member's channel, get you access as well. And speaking of before we go, I want to shout out our channel legends. Mandy Share, Ryan Karen, Yorick Horskong, Melita, Robert Anguiona, Jeffrey Hale, Jay Contrell, Eric Official, Amy Becca, Casey Wood, Jojo, and Sai. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. But that's it for this video, guys. I'll see you all in the next one. Take care, everybody.